Hello everybody, we are going to talk about release pattern today. Uh, we're going to go into a four week series about how you release the golf club. Now the last couple weeks we've been talking about impact position and those things are going to be the same. We're just going to give you a different release pattern. Now there are three types of releases in the golf swing. The first release you have I call the rehinge, where you see the club, the left wrist go this way and the club rehinges. That's release pattern number one. Release pattern number two is you have the hold off release, where you come in here and the club is held off and the hands are in this position. That's number two. Number three, you have the crossover release, where you see the arms cross over. All three of those releases are correct. So over the next three weeks, we're gonna talk about each one of those releases, but I first need you to understand there are some commonalities between all three of those releases that have to happen at impact. Now, if you go back to the last few weeks and look at impact positions, this is just gonna be review. But a couple of things in impact that have to happen is your lead wrist is always flat. That's number one. And number two, you always have a little bit of rotation going through the shot. So go back and look at those things from the last couple of weeks about impact before we get into the release patterns. So the next three weeks, we're gonna look at three different release patterns. So look forward to working on this with you. Thanks.